In the tapestry of existence, there exists a profound and enduring mystery that has captivated the human mind for centuries. The nature of consciousness and the quest for self-discovery. This enigmatic journey into the depths of our being beckons us to explore the very essence of our existence and the interconnectedness of all that surrounds us. In a world where we often hear the saying, everything is connected and everything is one. It's easy to dismiss it as just words. But beneath this common phrase lies a profound reality. There is no true separation in our universe. What we often see as divisions between people, things, and experiences are like tricks our senses play on us. In reality, everything is made of the same stuff, a cosmic consciousness that binds us all together. So let's dive into this profound truth and explore how it transforms our understanding of the world around us. Imagine someone on a spiritual journey for years, seeking to understand consciousness, what it is, how to experience it, and where it resides. The core message is that consciousness isn't external. It's a part of us. The illusion of separation comes from identifying too strongly with our thoughts, bodies, and beliefs. In reality, there's no distinct individual self. There's only one unified consciousness, and we all share in it. So, the key message is that we're not separate from the universe. We're interconnected and part of a greater whole. Think of consciousness like an incredible, all-encompassing awareness, almost like a hidden superpower we all have. Here's a simple experiment to tap into it. Close your eyes briefly and focus on what you're hearing. That feeling of awareness isn't limited to your body. Your body can't be conscious by itself. The one doing the perceiving is your consciousness, which is essentially who you are. Now, here's the mind-blowing part. There's no separation here. Sometimes, in our spiritual journeys, we overlook this important fact. There's only consciousness. Our bodies are like different costumes that consciousness wears to experience the world. Non-duality is the key to understanding the universe. It means everything is built upon consciousness. Your pet, nature, the skies, and even people who've done wrong things all originate from this same well of consciousness. They're like different ripples in the same cosmic pond. This perspective helps us rise above judgments and preconceptions. It's like wearing glasses that let us see beyond the surface. We realize that beneath every action and personality, there's a shared essence, a common source of existence. It's a profound viewpoint that invites us to connect with deeper layers of reality. By embracing and living by the principles of non-duality, your life's journey adopts a serene and peaceful nature. You come to acknowledge the tremendous strength and potential that arises from recognizing your true self. Take the example of Jesus, who, even in the face of challenges, radiated love and forgiveness because he was in harmony with his divine essence and the interconnectedness of all existence. This awareness isn't solely a matter of faith, it's a profound wisdom born from direct experience. What's truly remarkable is that this experience is accessible to each and every one of us because we are already inherently what we aspire to be. It's merely a matter of recognizing it. Beneath all the noise and distractions of life, there exists a deep inner longing we all share. It's akin to an itch we can't quite scratch, a thirst for truth, a yearning for a profound comprehension of the universe and our place within it. But here's the twist, my friend. This treasure hunt isn't an external quest in the world. It's an inner voyage. You know how sometimes we search for love as if it's a hidden treasure in distant lands. Well, here's the revelation. Love isn't something we need to seek externally. It's more akin to discovering the invisible wall we've constructed within ourselves. It's like a barrier, and guess what it's constructed from? It's the illusion of duality, this deceptive belief that we are separate from the grand tapestry of existence. Our modern world, with its emphasis on material possessions and self-centered thinking, often attempts to divert us from our true center. It's as if we're given glasses that make us perceive everything in terms of separateness. Me against the world, us versus them, humans against nature. But here's the beauty. When we carve out moments of quiet reflection, 
when we engage in contemplation, we catch a glimpse of an entirely different reality. Suddenly, that sense of separation begins to dissolve, and all that remains is a profound feeling of unity, as if we are all threads woven into the same cosmic fabric. Let's dive into this fascinating consciousness in a conversational and engaging way. Imagine your consciousness as a vast and uncharted landscape, and self-awareness as the key to unlocking its hidden treasures. It's like having a special map that guides you through the twists and turns of your own mind. So what exactly is this gateway to consciousness? Well, think of it as a two-part process. First, there's self-awareness. This is the ability to turn your attention inward and observe yourself without any filters or judgments. It's like being a detective investigating your own thoughts, feelings, and sensations. You start to notice what's happening in your mind without getting caught up in the drama of it all. It's a bit like watching clouds pass by in the sky without getting swept away by them. Now let's add mindfulness to the mix. Mindfulness is like the bridge that connects you to your consciousness. It's the practice of being fully present in the moment. Whatever you're doing, whether you're sipping a cup of tea, walking in the park, or simply breathing, mindfulness means doing it with your full attention. It's about immersing yourself in the here and now, without letting your mind wander off into worries about the future or dwelling on the past. So, why does this self-awareness and mindfulness combo the gateway to consciousness? Well, here's the magic. When you're self-aware and mindful, you start to notice the patterns in your thoughts and emotions. You become aware of how your mind works, how certain thoughts trigger certain emotions, and how your reactions play out. It's like being handed the reins to your own mental processes. This awareness is like a flashlight in a dark cave. It helps you explore the nooks and crannies of your consciousness that you might not have even known existed. You might uncover hidden fears, long buried dreams, or deeply held beliefs that have been shaping your reality. It's a bit like stumbling upon hidden treasure in the attic of your mind. But here's the really cool part. As you continue down this path of self-awareness and mindfulness, you start to realize that your consciousness is not just confined to you. It's part of a larger, interconnected web of consciousness that ties us all together. You start to see the oneness in all of existence, the shared human experience, and the interconnectedness of life itself. Deep within each one of us, there's something truly extraordinary a divine spark that flickers with boundless wisdom and knowledge. It's like this cosmic flame that's not so different from the radiant light of stars or the gentle glow of the moon. This spark, this life force, it's what infuses every tiny grain of sand and every delicate dewdrop with its magic. It's as if it's whispering the universe's secrets, but here's the catch. It doesn't use words or concepts. Instead, it communicates through silence. Throughout history, countless seekers have embarked on quests to understand the deepest mysteries of existence. They've dived into rituals, practices, and profound meditations, all in pursuit of this hidden wisdom. Yet, what the ancient sacred texts reveal is that the greatest secret isn't found in doing more, but in simply being. True knowledge isn't found in the pages of a book, but in the mirror of one's soul. Duality is the play of the material world, a game of shadows and light, but behind this theater lies the unchanging reality of unity. Everything we perceive, be it joy or sorrow, health or illness, life or death, are mere ripples in the vastness of the Supreme Being. When we allow ourselves to dive deep into our being, letting go of ego's ties and surrendering to the divine flow, we begin to discern the true nature of reality. With every breath you take, may you draw nearer to the profound essence of your being. And with each step you take, may you sense the divine presence lighting your path, infusing your heart with love, peace, and harmony. In the grand stage of life, where consciousness engages in its boundless dance, we are not mere spectators, but active participants in this enchanting spectacle. Every thought, emotion, and action constitutes a step in this intricate choreography. Life truly commences once we leave fear behind. 
In our pursuit of truth, we often find ourselves ensnared in mazes of perplexity and illusion. The human mind, with its inherent capacity for creation and discernment, can paradoxically hinder our progress. While it excels at crafting narratives, solving dilemmas, and navigating life's intricacies, it can also ensnare us in cycles of excessive contemplation and self-doubt. The mind naturally seeks clarity, but in its quest, it occasionally generates additional layers of bewilderment. Nevertheless, amid this labyrinth of thoughts and emotions, a tranquil point exists, an island of serenity and lucidity known as the heart's wisdom. In contrast to the fluctuating nature of the mind, the heart offers a reliable compass that directs us toward our genuine direction. In the grand dance of existence, it is easy to lose ourselves in the external spectacle of forms and overlook our innate connection to the source. The external world may be overwhelming, replete with a cacophony of sounds, sights, and sensations. Yet, beneath this external tumult, there exists a silent rhythm, a heartbeat that resonates with the core of our true selves. Numerous spiritual mentors and wise individuals have underscored the significance of introspection, of searching for answers not in the external realm but within the depths of our own essence. It is within this realm that we encounter the limitless, the eternal, the immutable. Within the realm of inner stillness, we come face to face with our authentic selves, transcending the roles, identities, and masks we assume in the external world. The voyage of self-discovery does not entail accumulating more knowledge or incorporating additional concepts into our mental repository. Instead, it involves shedding, unlearning, and relinquishing preconceived notions and beliefs that no longer facilitate our growth. It is a return to our essence, to the simplicity and purity of existence. Through this return, we discover freedom. Not the freedom to act without restraint, but the freedom to exist, to love unconditionally, and to express our truth without fear. This is the freedom of the soul, unburdened by the baggage of the past or the anxieties of the future. To embark on this path, one need not abandon the world or retreat to a secluded cave. The path exists everywhere, in every moment, in every breath. In the smile of a stranger, the laughter of a child, the whisper of leaves, and the expanse of the night sky, we find moments that invite us to awaken, to recall our divine essence. As you journey through life's twists and turns, remember that you're never alone. The entire cosmos dances alongside you, offering guidance through its boundless wisdom. Have faith in the path, welcome the unknown, and understand that each step you take brings you closer to the core of existence. Life isn't a riddle to be deciphered, but a riddle to be experienced. It's a sacred melody, and each of us contributes a unique note to its tune. Sing your song, dance your dance, and rejoice in the magnificent gift of life, because ultimately, life isn't about discovering ourselves, but about crafting ourselves moment by moment in the eternal dance of consciousness.